want you to hit me as hard as you can. Let's hear the tale of Snow White and the Huntsman and how they incorporate pretty much every other movie out there. Snow White grows up, her mother dies, a dark army comes, but the king defeats it and finds a beautiful captor, Ravenna, and marries her the very next day because he's super horny, I mean, in love. She kills him on their wedding night and brings in a real army along with her brother, the Californian. She also brings in the great gong. Out! Dude, get out. I think she wants to be alone. Oh, oh no, she just wants to take a bath. It rubs the lotion on its body while its brother watches creepily. It rubs the lotion on its body. Put the lotion on your body. Ravenna retains her beautiful look by sucking the youth from young girls, turning them into the witch from Robin Hood or Dracula. The gong mirror tells her she will become immortal forever if she holds Snow White's heart. Burn! Okay, they really need to get an intercom system in this place. Snow White is being held in the North Tower, but escapes through the sewer system, just like Andy Dufresne. Oh, this part is the Inception part. And then she makes it into the Dark Forest. Where is she? Okay, oh my god, can you just bring it down one notch? The queen is powerless in the deadly Dark Forest, so she finds a huntsman who has survived it and wants him to track her. He refuses, but she promises to bring back his dead wife. I think you bring her back. I can. Just like in Conan the Destroyer. What I want, you cannot give me. Yes, I can. The Huntsman agrees, but doesn't think they'll find anything because few have ever survived the Dark Forest. But Snow White survives because she took a nap. The Huntsman finds her, but realizes the Queen will kill her, so he doesn't turn her over. But he doesn't want to keep helping her either. If you return without me, you're dead. If you leave me... I'm dead. Or you could take a nap and you'll probably be just fine. So he helps her until a band of women find them. We mean you no harm. Oh, well, since you said that, what could go wrong? <laughs> the Queen's men find them and burn the entire village, so sorry about that whole no harm thing. Snow White and the Huntsmen escape into the woods where dwarfs and Beetlejuice find them and take them to their sanctuary. They walk through the jungles of the Predator to the sacred white deer. She is the one. What? Wait, what about Neo? They're attacked, again. The Huntsman kills Fred, and one of his guards almost hits Snow White, but a dwarf jumps in front of her, giving his life for- Wait a minute, is that Chris Farley? Now we're in the Lord of the Rings. The Queen tricks Snow White, and she takes a bite of a poisonous apple. Or she's getting her blood sucked by a vampire. I can't tell the difference. William and the Huntsman fight off the Queen, but Snow White still dies. William, her childhood friend, kisses her, but she's still dead. So they lay her in a church, and the dwarves grieve for her by eating. The huntsman figures, well, William did it, why not me? And kisses Snow White, waking her up to everyone's surprise. Oh, thank you, William, for trying to save me. Here's a handshake for your trouble. Oh, looks like we're in the Braveheart section of the movie. And they ride to battle. Or maybe more like skip to battle. So as they ride, skip to attack, the Huntsman has a few words with Snow White, setting up the best pickup line before battle ever. You look very fetching in mail. Oh, thank you. Uh, wait a minute, doesn't dudes usually wear this? Hey, it's Saving Private Ryan. They get inside the castle. Snow White somehow knows how to use a sword, despite the fact she's never used a sword, and they make it up to the Queen. William and the Huntsman battle glass soldiers while Snow White takes on the Queen. We're not that different, are we? I'm everything you're not. So apparently the queen can at least hit something. But Snow White gets the queen up close and stabs her. Then watches her die and cries. Just like in Old Yeller, minus the shotgun to the head. Everyone is freed, and Snow White is finally crowned queen. Her inspiring first words as queen are... Her first words. 